Hi, welcome to Pratex Academy. In today's session, we're going to calculate the value at risk or VAR by historical simulation method of S&P 500 data in Excel in less than five minutes. So let's get started. So first, we need to go to Google and type in S&P 500 Yahoo. So we click on Yahoo's link and from there to get the historical data we click on historical data and we need to download one year data but remember so today is June 27 2020 we need to start from June 26 2019 and we click done and we then click download and here we go we have downloaded the historical return data uh, we have downloaded the historical data from where we need to calculate the returns so first let's quickly go through this data once so in column one we have the date in column two we have the open price for the date in column three we have the high price for the date in column four we have the low price for the date in column four, five we have the close price and we also have the addresses close and volume information so we need to calculate the returns so we can calculate the return by taking the recent close minus the past or the previous close and dividing this by the previous close and then multiplying it by 100 to get the return in percentage terms. Now we click this cell and drag it all the way down to calculate the returns for the uh, for each individual uh, each respective dates so for this data we have a total of 255 data sets but the first row is actually the header and we need to copy these returns as values because we need to delete the rows and if you do that we get this error because we have used the past close but here we get no error because we have just copied the values. We now delete these columns because these are not useful for our case. So to calculate the VAR or the value at risk by historical simulation method, method we need to sort the returns from highest to lowest. So we click in the descending order. So now the returns have been sorted from highest returns to lowest returns. So by definition, 5% VAR is the highest of the lowest 5% of returns. Now we have a total of 253 data points, you know, 254 minus one, uh, which is the one is our column head. So 253 data points. So what is the 5% of 253? We can calculate that here. It's 253 into 5%, which is 12.65, which is close to 13. So the low, the highest of the lowest 13 data is our 5% VAR. So here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we highlight the lowest 13 returns and this is our value at risk. So our 5% VAR for one year period is equal to 3.0678 for 8% which is equal to point oh three oh six seven five. we just rounded up that so this is our calculated VAR value so we have calculated the 5% VAR of the actual return data by the historical simulation method in less than 5 minutes Thank you for watching this video. If you have liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and please also subscribe us to support our efforts. I'd like to see you in our next video.
Uh, till then, goodbye and stay safe. Thank you.